Good evening, Internet. Kalin's Jay here to show off a few interesting little uh, water tricks that you can pull off. Well, let's get into it. Okay, so I first discovered the little interesting ways that the water behaves when I accidentally placed a block here and found that it only flowed in one direction even though everything's open around it. And when I followed it, it actually came out to a very interesting pattern down here. And of course this has nothing to do with the torches. They're just I just put them there later for decoration. Anyway. So I came on over here and I set up a little area to test some of the workings of the water. And I found that water will always flow only towards the sh nearest square, nearest block that is a hole within its seven block radius. So on even ground it will of course just spread out in all directions, but in something like this where it has a specific hole or so holes to go to, it will only flow towards that. So that allows for some interesting manipulations. For example, If we cover, if we do that with the trench, you'll see the water does not flow over onto these blocks here. And these blocks can be removed without disturbing the balance of the water. However, it should be noted that as soon as you do disturb this equilibrium, the blocks next to whatever you touched will re basically figure out what they're supposed to be doing. So, okay, another interesting little principle is that when the water is flowing like this, if I were to, for example, place another block here and then remove it, the blocks that that spring over there would normally flow out to remain as they should, remain as they would if that hole wasn't there. which allows us to manipulate a single spring into some very interesting shapes. If I just remove this for a second... Oh, there you go. Now the same principles do apply for lava. Nice, nice, okay. However, lava doesn't flow as far, and I found through experimentation that On the edge of the lava's radius, it's basically a flip of a coin whether or not the lava will go down into the next block. So at this point, it will always go down, but if these holes were one farther apart, it would be a toss-up. Okay, maybe it won't be a toss-up, but in some circumstances, it might go into the fourth square. Uh, but you'll see that later. Anyway, I took the principle of being able to do this with water, and came up with an interesting little project to go with it. Well, what I mean is, it would be, this probably wouldn't look as impressive if it was, actually it might work with lava, we'll try it. But this is what I built, this is a single source block of water, basically being divided up and flowing down this giant thing of glass. Now this is, I think, about 15 or so levels of glass, and they're all just basically flat circles with carefully positioned blocks. Okay, so for those of you who are curious, I counted on my way up and there are 12 levels. So at the top here, it starts off with a nice flat platform, and drop a source block, and it all begins to nicely spread out all the way to the bottom. Isn't that lovely? I'll see if I can get another shot from underneath as it fills out. Alright, let's see if I can't outrun this thing. No. Oh. No.
And I should have put something to stand on down here. And there we go. You know what's next. Alright, and now for something that I'm personally very excited to see. Waited until nightfall just to drop a block of lava on this thing and let's see what happens. I'm gonna see if I can outrun it to the bottom and get a nice little look at it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna see if my amazing video editing skills will let me fast forward. If not, feel free to skip ahead a bit. I'm just gonna leave this here. Okay, and we see there that some of the four of the streams seem to have stopped. I was afraid that might happen. But then again, the other four continued. I have no idea why that would happen. I'll go investigate at some point. Oh, giant hole. Oh, that's not bad. Alright, I'm gonna pause it and see if I can get the other little streams to flow there somehow. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, with one minor modification on one particular floor, I have the fully flowing lava glass volcano. Let's see what it looks like from a distance. Alright, well, I am much more pleased with this than I thought I would be going into this project. This just looks magnificent. Alright, internet, and as I get off for the night, I give you this one final interesting little view from up top to the depths below. Enjoy. <laughs>